Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on test day. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. Woohoo, art class, where we whip up masterpieces on the fly. Ugh, wait, I was supposed to say whip up masterpieces by flies. Anyway, welcome to Arthropod class. All the buzz here is about personality, which is the sum of the unique characteristics that influence your thoughts and emotions and cause you to show predictable patterns of behavior. In this sketch, we're going to review six perspectives on how personality develops and why it differs between individuals. We'll start with the psychoanalytic perspective of personality development. This perspective proposes that personality is dictated by a person's unconscious desires, which are supposedly influenced by childhood experiences and other memories. Note, there's not much research backing this perspective, and it's no longer widely used by psychologists. Rorschach and Freud were the two most prominent psychoanalysts, so to remind you of the psychoanalytic perspective, this butterfly is painting a Rorschach test while her Freud lookalike teacher analyzes it. We should be able to tell a lot about his unconscious desires based on whether he sees a fancy moth or an evil rabbit hauling off a whale carcass. Next, this caterpillar sculpting a human represents the humanistic perspective of personality development. This perspective emphasizes that you have control over your personality, whereas psychoanalysts believe personality is dictated by unconscious desires you can't control. Humanists believe that personality arises through an individual's intentional efforts for personal growth. Sort of like this caterpillar who's working hard to achieve his hashtag goal of becoming a beautiful butterfly. Oof. What smells? Oh, looks like this dung beetle is happily working away on his ceramics project. Doesn't even look all that crappy, if you ask me. All these types of pottery he's finished represent type and trait perspectives. Type perspectives propose that an individual's personality can be understood by classifying their characteristics into predetermined categories. Myers-Briggs type inventory tests are a classic example of this approach. They say that you must be either an introvert or an extrovert, but you cannot be both or fall somewhere in between. Trait perspectives are similar, but they propose that everyone falls somewhere along a spectrum for traits defined by clusters of behaviors. This B symbolizes behaviorist personality perspectives. She's taking a picture of the environment because behaviorists believe that personality is shaped by interactions with our environment rather than by intrinsic factors that are not easily measured. Specifically, behaviorist perspectives rely on conditioning theory. They propose that personality is simply a product of repeating behaviors that have been reinforced and avoiding behaviors that have been punished. Kind of a buzzkill, if you ask me. All right, I'm getting antsy. Let's move on. Ooh, even better than I anticipated. These social friends represent the social cognitive perspective. The social cognitive perspective proposes that an individual's internal feelings and their external environment cumulatively determine how they'll respond to a situation. This perspective emphasizes that social factors, like the attitudes of those around you, and cognitive factors, like observational learning, all influence your personality. That's why these little tykes are in an outdoor environment practicing observational learning as they decorate their bobo dolls. Though their internal feelings probably influence their artistic choices too. Especially Grass Painter. Seems like she's got a lot going on internally. Finally, this nimble spider is spinning a DNA-shaped scarf to remind you that the biological perspective suggests that personality traits are simply coded in your genes. Research shows that some traits, like thrill-seeking and traditionalism, are very similar between identical twins with different upbringings. However, there's little evidence of this pattern for many other traits. All right, now that we've covered the main theories of personality, let's check out the gallery wall showing off art by all of these talented invertebrates. This gallery symbolizes that these six perspectives are not mutually exclusive. It's possible that all the ideologies we've described contribute to the development of personality in some way or another. Different people might even be influenced by different combinations of these factors. All right, well, I don't have nearly enough appendages or artistic talent to be here, and it's starting to really bug me. Let's wrap this up. We looked at six common perspectives on how personality develops. 
First, the psychoanalytic perspective proposes that personality is dictated by your unconscious desires that develop during childhood. On the other hand, the humanistic perspective says that personality is a product of free will and develops through your drive to improve yourself. Type and trait perspectives dissect personality into specific characteristics, and the behaviorist perspective proposes that an individual's environment dictates their personality through conditioning. The social cognitive perspective builds on the behaviorist perspective and says that an individual's internal state combined with their external environment determines their personality. Social learning is really important to this theory. Finally, the biological perspective proposes that personality is simply dictated by genetics. But it's possible that all of these perspectives are true to some extent and might all work together to determine our personalities. Okay, that's all for this time. I'm off to look for something that better suits my talents. Like playing cricket? Or ooh, running a flea market? Ooh, ooh, or fighting weevil forces? <laughs> oh, coming up with insect puns. Oh, I'm bad at that.